Welcome back, everybody. Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to finish our project uh, phase and open up or begin opening up tier five. Tier five. Uh, okay, so I am going to, it's still in my plans to build a stator production line because we need staters for lots of things down the road, but. I've decided um, that we're just going to make the automated wiring, the 100 automated wiring that we need to finish out um, th this uh, this project uh, or this phase, phase two specifically. Um, we have all the stuff to do it and it'll just be faster, I think, if, if we just manufacture it ourselves because it's only 100. If it was a lot more than that, then I would go ahead and build a stator line now, but um, I want to do that. Uh, and get that, you know, checked off of the list, the to-do list that I always forget to use. <laughs> um, so we're going to work on that. In fact, let's get, let's do that first. So here's, here's the deal. I have a full chest or storage chest or whatever of the, uh, versatile frameworks. We're going to need 2,500 of these for the, for the next phase. Um, and I made another hundred here. So those are all just waiting. And I think what we're going to do for this, just more for funsies than for necessity is we're going to actually set up a truck station and have our tractor deliver all that stuff uh, to the space elevator. So we're going to work on that. Um, but before we get started with that, let's let's get going on these smart wires. Now, I have um, put in here... Uh, right, yeah. Okay, so I have I, I was looking at these recipes, and I have this the alternate quick wire stator recipe, which allows us to use four steel pipe and 15 quick wire um, to make uh, staters. So the default recipe, so so this one basically just, well here, let's let's take these out just so we can see what it is by default. Uh, okay, so, so this one basically makes five per minute and it uses steel pipe and copper wire, which is also very easy for us to do. But if we do the um, the alternate one, It'll do eight per minute. And we've got Caterium over there. We've got a constructor here that we can just whip out a bunch of uh, quick wire real fast. And then of course for the uh, the pipes, we'll just feed those into here. So let's just get a hundred of the, the the smart wires made up. Uh, not, I'm sorry, not smart wire. I don't know why I call it smart wire, but I do. <laughs> the automated wiring um, and get that done and we can get that, that face taken care of. Okay. so. Uh, first order business is we're going to um, let's come over here and we're going to put a smart uh, or not a smart a um, what you call whatever this the fuck this thing's called <laughs> white braid is like not working tonight it's been a long day at work um, we'll put that there um, we're going to set you to here let's get that out of there uh, we're going to have you just make quick wire for us and then we're going to grab um, this and uh, let's see here. We want to, I think we're just going to, I'm not worried about making this too terribly fancy. Um, and we do have to dip that down a little bit too. We'll just bring this over to here. Uh, nope, I went a little too far. Let's try that again. It's going to go right to here. That's close enough. And then we'll run this into there. Yeah, it's a little crooked, but we don't care. And, um, okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to remove this and this and this. And we're just going to, well, here, let's put a lift here and... I'm gonna we'll just raise it up a little higher and we'll run that down into there okay and that'll feed the quick wire into the assembler very good all right let's get rid of the rest of this stuff here we just need to hook up pipes um, so just move this over one take that down and hook that into there and we should be good. 
Okay, so we need to make a hundred. Uh, let's see. Here, turn that off for a second. If we go to automated wiring, it takes it takes one stator per cycle. Um, oh, you know what though? I think this makes two per. So. If that's the case, I think we only need to make 50 of these. And let's also overclock the shit out of it just to make it even that much faster. Um, okay, yeah. Whoops. Oh, you know what? I bet you we have leftover product inside these lifts. That's why nothing's happening. That's fine. We'll just reconnect them. Nope. The lift. Did it already load up the pipe? All right, why isn't the pipe working? What the hell is going on here? Do we have... There it goes. That was really weird. Okay. So, yeah, this is going to happen like in almost no time at all. <laughs> uh, all right. While we're waiting for that, let's go ahead and get ourselves a truck station. And we're just going to put the truck station right here. Um, that's the output. That's Yeah, this is going to be a load, so we just want the inputs. That's all we care about. I don't know exactly how lined up that is. Here, actually, we could do it this way. Yeah, that's that's lined up right there. Oh. Try that again. Try that again. There. Okay, so that, uh, that'll take care of that. Uh, let's get some power over here. Again, this is all temporary. That's kind of the nice thing, though, about having this open space. When we do want to set a temporary thing in Medoodle up, we can quite easily. Okay, so we'll have to, um, we'll have to go grab the tractor and set up the route. How are we doing already over here? We got 26. Okay. Um... You know, I have an abundance of these resources. The extra staters will will probably either put in the sink or hang on to. So I'm going to run up to our other factory and get the tractor. So I'll see you guys up there. Oh, I was going to tell you one other thing. I was able to straighten that piece out over there by setting the pipe mode to auto to auto 2D, I think it was, and then it made a really nice right angle. So. Yeah, I had it on Noodle before. Also, I, I put in four more coal... Uh, no, sorry, eight more coal generators, but I don't have them all hooked up yet because I don't have enough coal. So I'll, I'll show you what I did with that when we get back. Okay, so what we're going to do is... Whoop, we're going to take the shop away. And the man might be able to stay there. get this out of the way here and I'm gonna run a line from here where's it coming out at right here okay I want it to come straight yeah we could we could do it on this seam here okay That's not straight. That is. Go back two. That doesn't look right from here. It wasn't. Damn it, Jim. It's because I had this uh, lift uh, pedestal thing crooked, I guess. Go 
there. Oh wow, that's uh, that's interesting. All right, no big deal. Okay, so we're gonna put this right here. And that, yeah, that is an input, right? Okay. Let's get another truck station, and we want. flip this around actually and we want the output lined up with this one also on this seam here oh I need cable oh shit um I doubt I have any extra cable here if I did well maybe I do no cuz I think this is where I had the cable Um, all right, here, let's temporarily remove that so it, it starts filling up. How much cable did it say I needed? Uh, we need 20. Okay, I'm going to wait until 20 cable accumulates in here, and then I'll bring you back. Won't take too long. Oh, uh, while we're waiting for that, I wanted to also show you something else. I'm going to, my plan is to take some batteries uh, which is a good reason a, a good reason to have some extra stators made up and I'm gonna put them just opposite of the bio burners and just you know do one here one here one here all the way down um, as extra you know power backup and then I'm we'll probably set up a much larger section of batteries at the at, at the Western Coast base uh, factory too, but I figured we might as well throw some of those down too to help, you know, when we go a little bit over on the power when we're building stuff. Okay, so now we have all of our cables. Let's get our truck station. And we want to turn it this way with the output lined up there. That should be far enough back. Oh, that's weird. All right, great. Now this is a, this is an unload station. So we want to set that to unload. Okay. Open record menu. Um, I don't want to hide the nodes. I want to see them for this. Start recording. Okay, here we go. So the truck will come down this way. Slow down and turn here. Turn here. Press F to unload cargo. Uh... Okay, I guess it didn't do anything because there wasn't anything to unload. But hopefully... Don't... Wait a minute, though. Don't we get a different icon for that? Hmm, I don't know. Okay. Alright, let's drive it down to the other side. Okay, press F to load. Have to wait for the loading bar in the lower right hand corner. Okay. And then we head on back. Okay, let's close the loop here. Path 
Reporting complete. Uh, uh, save. We're just gonna call this um, space elevator delivery. All right, now I want to. I think because that's yellow, it means it is going to do that. Let's let's get rid of this node and this one here. Okay, uh, save. Check name or is if uh, so we can't overwrite then. All right, let's just call it deliveries. All right, now um, let's hide the path nodes. Let's go. Oh, that other one didn't save. Okay, fair enough. Um, let's set this to autopilot. Let it go to town. So it should it should offload when it goes around the corner there. Let's just double check. And then I'll, I'm also going to throw some coal in on this end too because I have a bunch of extra coal over there to fuel it. Hmm. I don't see the thing thingamadoodle moving. Something's not working. Shit. Okay. Oh. I know what that something is. Power. <laughs> that's what the something is. Uh, that's already got four connections. There we go. It helps when you have power. Now, why aren't these guys loaded into here? Is this belt screwed up somehow? Oh, I know why. Um, because it's already full. Right. It'll, it'll only take in what it wants for that particular phase. Because we've already loaded it up with 500 of these. So, so as soon as we send those off, then these will start loading up. Okay, good. Um, let's put a... Uh, let's see. That's an output... Isn't that, um, oh, wait a minute. Okay, no, I need to, yeah, we're going to have to do something a little different for the fuel. Tractor already took off, right? Okay. Let's go um, down here and grab some coal. Probably going to need to put this in a storage bin to feed into there. In fact, I am going to because it'll only hold one stack, full stack at a time. So why don't we put you here? In. Uh, that one lines up right there. There we go. And 
and that'll fill the the fuel thing up for the tractor. Okay, good. So I may end up just leaving this here, like permanently, and we and we'll just use it for deliveries to the you know space elevator in the future. That doesn't need to be there. We'll see. Very good. All right, let's go back and grab um, the stators. We probably have a crap ton now, but that's okay. And then we'll get the automated wiring going. comes our tractor with another load. You go, girl. Woohoo! Or boy. I don't know. Our tractors, girls, or boys. <laughs> they can be either. Or maybe both at the same time. Never really gave that much thought. Okay. So let's go ahead and stop that uh, and stop this too. Okay. And we have 186 staters. Very nice. Grab those out of there. I have to pick these up because they have, um, they're going to have stuff in them. Let me think. Okay, so why don't we just do this? No, you know what? That's too much screwing around. I was gonna, I was just gonna use that, but I think I'll do, I'll do it this way instead. Because again, it's temporary. I'm not even gonna worry about that. Normally I would. Okay, we want to change this over now to automated wiring. Um, and we'll throw the stators in here. And then this one we have to switch over to cable. And my cable is down right here. down this way not gonna oh look at that damn near damn near we'll make it but not quite all right so we'll just go here grab a lift I, I might change that autosave to not happen quite as frequently as it does because man it's a pain in the ass And we're off. All right, so this will make six and a quarter per minute with all three of our, uh, you know, our, our maximum overclock there. Um, and we, we just need a hundred. So 10 minutes, it'll make 60 some odd, 62, 63. And that means in about, I, I'm just roughly guessing about 17 or 18 minutes. We can figure it out exactly, but it's not that important. But I will set my um, timer on my phone here. We'll just set it for about 18 minutes. Because this is another item that's only used in the space elevator. So we don't need it for anything else other than that. And if we do end up with a few extra, we'll just put them in the sink. Uh, speaking of which, how, how many points have we built back up since we spent them all yesterday? Let's take a quick look at that. 
Oh, nice. We're back up to five. Okay, cool. We'll just let that build up. All right, let me show you what's going on over here. So I set up another grouping of eight, uh, but I only have four and a half running. And this last one I, I colored differently because uh, it's underclocked. It's only producing, uh, it's only operating at 44% capacity because that's all the coal that I have left. So this, uh, the coal line across the way there, well, the top coal line is 120 per minute and that entire line is feeding coal into our first eight generators. So it's completely dedicated to that. The second line is 270 per minute, but we're using, currently we're using 120 and uh, 80, 90, 120 and 90. So basically we're using 200, no, 80. Oh, uh, damn it. Now I'm confusing myself. Let's go check it. <laughs> I thought I had that figured out. I probably did. I'm just confused right now. So so these guys are taking in um, 120 because each of them are taking in 40. And then, yeah, two more, 80. Right. So, so we're basically using 200 of that 270 coal for these two production lines, which, of course, leaves us 70 coal left. All right. So if we go into here and we... Um, Divide 70 by 15, that's 4.66667. So that means we can we can support four full coal generators and then uh, 66667 or whatever uh, on the on the fifth one. Okay, so the other generators then, the, the final three are not, as you can see, they're not running at all right at the moment. Uh, because we need to get more coal over here. So this guy is... Um, it's consuming 6.6 .6 coal per minute, essentially. So um, instead of the normal 15 coal per minute like the full, uh, the full setup does. 15 per minute. Okay. So... That is the next thing, and why is stuff? Oh, stuff is shutting down because I have all three pumps hooked up, but we're not we're not actually using uh, these three, so it's causing them to start and stop a little bit. But that's that's not a big deal. It will, that'll fix itself once we get the whole whole kit and caboodle going. So as far as coal goes, our options are kind of as follows. Um, let's get this out and do a scan. So we're going to have some coal down uh, here, I think. Yeah, right here. But these are just normal purities. Some of those are just uh, loose ones. There's quite a few of them, but they're but there are just normals. And there's also a sulfur deposit, which we also need, uh, right around in here, I think. So one option is to build a new road, you know, coming from this area. This is this is kind of like a little um, you know, valley with with a lake and stuff down below it. And this is the the grassy fields over here. Yeah, see, there's that sulfur node. So we could build a road from here out to here and just intersect it with our other roads and bring both sulfur and coal over to the factory. But we also need quartz. Notice that there's also a sulfur up here too, which is up in the northern forest. Um, if we scan for quartz... We're going to see a couple pop up somewhere over here, but those nodes, I believe, are underground and because I went over there and I was standing directly over these guys and there was nothing there. So my guess is that there's probably a big underground uh, underground cavern there, um, but they are pure, though. So we, we're going to have to explore that. However, 
if we if this this is our our 120 normal node coal mine here I think it's one of our coal mines so what we could do is we could build a road a little further to the east and then cut north and I know that there's two pure coal nodes right here this this region here is called the crater lakes um, there's that sulfur node that we just looked at that's down here and then there's two pure quartz nodes right along this oh shit don't run me over <laughs> uh, right along um, this ridge here up in the uh, northern forest so it's going to be a longer road but it, it'll allow us to bring three products back to the factory instead of two um, or or we go investigate the quartz nodes that I think are underground, do a little bit of exploration. And we could either run a road south to intersect with the coal and sulfur we would bring from here. Well, that's probably what we would do. Because it, running it north is going to be more is it going to make as much sense? And the reason for that is these are really high cliffs right here. So we'd have to actually take it all the way up to this plateau just to drop it all the way back down over here again. So that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. Don't run me over. So, um, I'm kind of, I'm kind of favoring the idea of building a road to the east and then cutting up north and pulling these resources from up here. Um, we do have, you know, these. there's three coal nodes over here too, but I don't think any of those are pure. I think those are normal. And we're using some of that anyways for our, our little mini uh, power plant that's over here. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, we don't need to do that immediately in terms of power anyways, because we have, we, we have plenty of power. We're producing um, 1,300 megawatts and change and you know we, we have all all of this this is our maximum and we're only consuming that much so we have a little bit of time but you know as soon as we start building more production lines and stuff that's going to change of course all right why are you oh no you're not jammed up you're just waiting okay how many how many auto, automated wires okay so we're a little over halfway there cool okay so yeah um I think what I'm going to do here is I think I'm going to cut the camera and just wait for that automated wiring to finish. When it does, we'll hand deliver it down to the space elevator and complete phase two. And that's going to open up tier five for us, which is going to be amazing. Oh, I love, I just love those planets up in the sky. It's so amazing. So yeah, I'll see you guys back here when that automated wiring is ready to go. All right, guys, we have our 50 smart wiring, and we can go ahead and shut this down. Uh, let's, yeah, let's get rid of this and this and that. All of this stuff for now. Yeah, there we go. Our tractor has also hauled all of the uh, the frame thingamadoodles down there, so that's finished. And this, I, I'm going to leave this here for for now. It's not necessarily going to stay there forever, but we're going to leave it there for now. And let's grab all of these. We can put these five in here because we only need a hundred of those. And let's head on down and finish phase two and open up tier five for ourselves. All right, here we go. This has been a long time coming. We are ready. Delivery, uh, delivery will unlock tier five and tier six. Project assembly flame, flame, fr framework. Man, can't talk tonight. And here we go. Phase two is complete. Best animation in the game. Boom. See ya. <laughs>
All right, so we don't get an an Ada Ada boy. So yeah, uh, the next stuff that it's gonna want um, is the 25 versatile frames, which we've already taken care of, 500 modular engines, and 100 adaptive control units. So yeah, it's gonna be a little while before we're gonna get all that stuff made. Uh, let's put. Let's see. We have a couple more. Uh, yeah, we have a hundred more of these that also need to go in here. And once that stuff all completely loads up, that should fill up the versatile uh, framework requirement. Very nice. Okay. Um. Let's see here. This, like I said, I'm gonna leave here. Um. I noticed though that this guy ran ran out of fuel, and it. I think it ran out of fuel because it was using biofuel, and it, apparently it doesn't mix the fuel. So moving forward, we want to make sure that it's using coal, and then it should just fuel itself because it actually ran out of fuel on the highway. Um, it was really close to the, you know, to the the western factory because uh, I, I saw it just stalled but uh, so fortunately it wasn't like you know halfway between hither and there <laughs> um, okay so where are my state oh all the rest of my standards are still sitting inside the assembler that's where they are okay let's head on back uh, to the hub and see what's gonna take for tier 5 we're making progress All right, so tier five is going to give us oil processing, gas mass, alternative fluid transport, and industrial manufacturing. And tier six is logistics, Mark four, jetpack. Oh yeah, and then monorail, trail, uh, monorail train technology, and pipeline engineering, Mark two. All right, so oil processing opens up all of this. We'll be able to start making plastic. Uh, we need plastic f for. Um, uh, for some research and circuit boards too. Of course, I have I have a few of those. That'll that'll open up the refinery for us, which will allow us to maybe start using some of those alternative water recipes, which will be really nice. Um, new shop products, uh, crude oil, which I believe is a well, yeah, that's the actual oil and fuel. So we'll have a new fuel source. A valve used to limit pipeline flow rates oh okay that's cool all right gas mask is well the gas mask and the inventory slots that's the more important part there and this will allow us of course to be around those poison plants which we end up just blowing up anyways alternative fluid transport so yeah this is a packager and it packages water oil gas that sort of thing inside of containers um, packaged fuel packaged oil oil residue bio liquid biofuel is that new I don't I don't know industrial fluid buffer yeah that, that's been in the game for a while empty canisters and then industrial manufacturing basically gives us a four input um, device to make shit manufacturer the truck which is basically the bigger version of the tractor 48 slot inventory um, and uh, the computer, the modular engine, this is the thing we'll need. Uh, actually, both of these are the two things we'll need to make for the for the space elevator. And then Logistics Mark IV gives us a belt that transports stuff at 480 resources per minute, uh, plus a fuel generator. Um, so that's like the next uh, power generation scheme after coal. And um, scanner upgrade Caterium or let's just scan for Caterium with a rate. Can't we already do that? Wait, what? We can already scan for Caterium or. Um, allows you to scan for Caterium or with the resource. Oh, with the resource. Wait. 
Isn't that what this is? The resource scanner? Or are they talking about the little handheld thing, my duty? This thing. No, that's an object scanner. I don't get it. I don't get it. We can already do this. Oh, weird, man. Okay, whatever. Uh, Jetpack. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, fuel is automatically consumed from the inventory to refill the jetpack while on the ground. Different fuel types can be used, provide different levels of jetpack efficiency. Okay, so it's, you know, it's like using different fuel sources in the tractor and stuff like that. That's going to be nice. Okay. Um, what's even going to be better than this, though, is the hover hover machine thing, which is kind of the upgrade for this. That's really going to help, you know, with building. We get more inventory slots there. That's nice. And then we get trains. I've never done anything with trains before, so this that's going to be fun when the time comes. Um, and from my, what I understand, there's a, there's a lot to this, too, or, or can be. Uh, so that'll be really fun when we get into there. And then we've got Mark II pipelines, which do 600 uh, meters squared of fluid per minute. Okay. Lots of fun stuff coming up uh, with that for sure. But uh, what, do we, what do we need? Actually, let's go back to Tier 5 for a second. Oil processing. Um, the nice thing about our location, too, is that we are, um, you know, just over that way uh, where those islands are, we've got several oil... Uh, nodes and I think that, uh, it'll show up here once we get that first milestone taken care of uh, we have several oil nodes and I think a couple of them are pure too so uh, we're in a very ideal location to begin oil uh, which I haven't really done much with that either you know so we're, we're kind of we, we've for the most part gotten as far as I've ever gotten in this game um, which is exciting because it's all going to be new new stuff very cool okay so yeah we um we're just gonna need this stuff here um th these three of course are easy lemon squeezy peasy these however we will have to um i think a lot of shit in this game uses motors and so we're gonna need it uh, we w we will set up a production line for the for these including needing stators which is why we need to set up production for stators too uh so that's all coming up fun stuff all right you guys so the next thing that's going to happen is we we need to get more coal we need to get quartz and we need to get sulfur over to our factory and i and i already talked earlier in this episode about you know our options for that so i'll kind of think that think about that you know which option i want to do and then uh, we'll start that process in the next episode so thanks everybody for watching hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.